everyone, it's the Lego Brits here with my latest Lego Star Wars custom minifigure showcase. If you haven't seen the brand new Lego Star Wars The Terrifying Tales special, then probably click away because there are going to be some spoilers in here about these characters. But you can see I've done three custom minifigures to show based off the movie. It was really enjoyable. It was so funny. I really enjoyed it. Make sure you smash the like button and let me know what you think of the special in the comments. The first custom minifigure based off Lego Star Wars The Terrifying Tales that I'm going to show is Vanny or Vanny or I literally don't know how to pronounce his name, even though he was literally on the screen for like 20 minutes. Oh dear. I really do need to get better at this, but this is Darth Vader's servant. So we see him at the start and he turns out to be quite the mischievous character and ends up being the main villain or antagonist of the terrifying tales. It was really interesting to get him mini story arc and I thought that was pretty cool and he's a neat character. So let me show you how I built this minifigure. This purist custom is relatively easy to make. I think you only need three minifigures to make it. You could technically do it with two if you wanted to sacrifice some detail, but this is the minifigure. So you can see the head and the hood are taken from different characters so don't get mixed up the hood is taken from Emperor Palpatine I got that from the polybag but you can pretty much get that from any set he's in and the face came from Chancellor Palpatine so even though they're from the same person they are from different minifigures just to match Fanny's skin tone you can see over here we have the torso from Darth Maul and that was taken from the Sith Infiltrator Microfighter so that's not the Darth Maul chest open torso this is kind of a dark one I would have liked to have a little bit of purple to show how he looks but I looked really hard and I just don't think Lego created a piece where you have that black cloak with the purple. So that's a shame. Maybe they'll do that one one day. The white hands are also from Palpatine. And you can just see over here, I took the legs from Palpatine as well. So relatively simple. And that lightsaber was also taken from Palpatine. So quite a bit from him, but that's that figure. Here is my next custom minifigure. And this is based off the character Dean. This was a new character invented for the terrifying tales. I did find him a little annoying. I think lots of people will agree in the comments. But still, he did play a bit of a role in the movie. So I thought I'd showcase him here. Also, one thing I would say I don't have Rowan from the Freemaker Adventures and I really think that his face with the skin tone and the hands would work perfectly so if you have him then you can switch out for Anakin Skywalker. I used Anakin as my base for this although to accurately represent the skin tone feel free to use Rowan but let me show the pieces I used. Even though this custom minifigure took a lot of effort and I had to use a lot of different pieces from different figures I'm still not entirely happy with it mainly because of that skin tone inaccuracy it was something I tried to figure out but simply I just couldn't do it so I went for more accurate with the freckles and I used Anakin Skywalker's face and used white hands however if you want the accurate skin tone then I really recommend that you use Rowan from the Freemaker Adventures because I think that looks just like Dean and the hair is taken from Wooha from the Mos Eisley Cantina that's a pretty cool minifigure and I think that hair works well the torso is taken from Kane and Jarrus I really love that green color and I think that's just how he looks and the legs are from a Jawa just to show he's a child the last custom minifigure that I'm going to show from Star Wars The Terrifying Tales is Uncle Owen and obviously he's a little bit more recognisable than the other characters I've mentioned just because he actually set Luke off in his journey to becoming a Jedi and he's his adoptive uncle so he does have a larger role in Star Wars canon. I think he's a pretty cool character and apparently he may be making his return in the Obi-Wan show. I did do a custom minifigure of his wife Aunt Beru and you can check that video out. So now I've done the entire couple so I'm glad to have these done. I'll show you how to make it. I took the hair from the old Han Solo from the Millennium Falcon 2015 set and looking at the terrifying tales I think this is the hairpiece that Lego used to animate Uncle Owen so I'm pretty happy with that choice. The face I would have liked to have a little bit more of a look with a stubble a bit like Grief Cargo looked in the Razor Crest with a stubbled look. I would like to find something like that but still I went for this design and this is based off Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Luke's Landspeeder set. These two pieces here look very continuous and that's because spoiler they're from the same minifigure. They're both taken from Obi-Wan Kenobi from his Attack of the Clones outfit. I think this represents Owen's robes pretty well. Before I finish up, I just had to share this. I think this scene from the terrifying tales is hilarious. So here's my favorite scene from the Lego Star Wars Halloween special. One for luck. I think that is hilarious. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this showcase of my Lego custom minifigures. I built three based off the terrifying tales and all of them I think turned out pretty well. So let me know what you think of the minifigures and the special in the comments below. Make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. Have an awesome day. Goodbye.